Hi, Table Talk. Welcome back to the Table Talk community. I'm so glad everyone is safe, washing their hands with their mask on their faces. Staying safe is so important. I'm so glad. Uh, I just looked at the subscribers and I just am excited. We all are on the same page. We feel the same about mental illness. We don't like mental illness. We want to put mental illness on notice that mental illness better be aware of Table Talk community. We are out there giving out good information, telling everyone how to thrive with mental illness and showing them by example and experiences. I love it. I love the subscribers. Keep them coming. I love the questions. The questions are so good because everyone benefit from the questions. I benefit from the questions. The members benefit from the questions. It is absolutely a plus. Thank you so much. I did talk about what our future goals will be for the Table Talk community. We're trying to expand the mental illness and behavior um, system to a curriculum on Udemy. So we are working on it. It's going to take about maybe 30 days or less, maybe 30 days or less uh, to put everything in the system, but it's going to be a free course where everyone can just tap into it and enjoy the information, share your thoughts, uh, your comments, uh, have a group of your own in your own community and set some things up like that and we can keep it going. You see how we're growing and make it a global, a global community where mental illness do not have the upper hand. We have the upper hand over mental illness. And I love it. I hope you guys love it as well. Continue the community, uh, the questions and the comments. I appreciate everything that you do. It's because of you that we're growing. Thank you so much. Today's question, I had a, a member, thank you member for this question. They want me to expound on what is mental illness as a system. I do speak of mental illness as being a system and I normally say mental illness is a system because it has a pathology and if it has a pathology then it has a uh, assignment and if it has an assignment then it has an end game and the end game is to destroy you and or others. And the reason why I say it, it is from a personal experience. I think uh, a lot of you already know that I am a suicide survivor two times over. And during that time in my life when I was having such a bad time and uh, I was feeling very, very depressed, I started to re visit those moments in my life and I started to notice that mental illness was really really pulling me a particular way that's the pathology of it it wasn't trying to heal me it wasn't trying to make me better um, I said this before mental illness to me in my perspective is a a angry boyfriend who couldn't handle the breakup that's my perspective so because he couldn't handle the breakup he's harassing me and he wants me to take my life so when I see it that way I see it that he's on a mission to really harm me destroy me get me to think a particular way so I can have irresponsible responses and he will never stop he's determined he will never stop that's how bad he he dislikes me so I connect the the way I see mental illness to that uh, similarity 
So the pathology is always pulling me in the wrong direction. It's always pulling me into a direction of harm, a direction of hurting myself or hurting others because I remembered when I was feeling so bad. I had went into the fourth stage of deep depression, which is one of the, the, the stages in uh, the deep depression tornado system theory. I was in that fourth stage where I accepted the invitation to die and I started to execute it. I was on my way to taking pills. The first, the first attempt was me taking a handful of my, I think I had gabapentin pills. The gabapentin pills are used for another reason. They're used for nerve damage, pain, and things for that. And I took, I think it was close to 50. It was close to 50. And I doused them. I just took them. Don't think when, when, when you're already accepting the invitation to harm, you don't think about it. You, you just do it. You're already in that, that stage of doing it. So, you know... I, for some reason, when you think about it, when I'm thinking about it now, it's like, I really wanted that to be the one and only time and never come back in your mind. You just want, I wanted to never do it again. But unfortunately, it didn't work. I woke up with a headache. I was sick. I was nauseated. I was, I was really feeling bad. Diarrhea, the whole thing, it didn't work. It just didn't work. So, not only did the suicide attempt didn't work, depression became deeper. It became, it did, it's just, it's, it's something, mental illness is something that don't feel sorry for you. It don't release you from the assignment. That's why I say uh, it, it's a pathology and then it has a assignment. It don't release you from that. It, it says in its mind, it is designed to do a particular thing and they want it executed like it or not. And this assignment, uh, I tried it a second time around, same thing, same, same process. And it didn't work again. It didn't work again. And it just, uh, if anyone knows mental illness, you know mental illness carries a heavy weight. It's a heavy, deep depression in stage four carries a weight. It's almost like a yoke that's around your neck and it just, it gets heavier and the people put you know, mental illness put weights on the end of them and it gets heavier and heavier and you sink and you sink and you sink and you get to the point where whatever it takes to get it off my shoulders, I'm going to do it because I want, I want to feel better. I want to feel lighter. I want my brain to stop moving. I want to get it done. And that's how I was feeling when I was going through this crazy journey. And one thing, when I'm thinking of it now, one thing a mental illness will also do, mental illness will also help you out. I can remember when the second time that it was unsuccessful, mental illness not only brought back the deep depression that I was feeling, it made it deeper and it was already giving me strategy for the third round. So I'm already feeling bad. I'm now feeling badder. So the third round is I got to get to the point where this third try does the trick. And mental illnesses, uh, it's absolutely strategic. It's very, very clever. And it will make sure 
that the assignment gets done because it has an end game. That's why it's so vigorous. It's so vigorous and it's so, I really gotta get this done. It's almost like it's, it's uh, time sensitive. I really have to get this done because I really want you off the face of the earth. It is time sensitive. That's why I gave I gave it pathology and that's why I gave it assignment. And that's why I gave it uh, end game. Because it is designed to do something and it wants to do it because it is, it's, it's, it's a job. It's a job that has to get done. So in my mind, this uh, second, second attempt didn't work. So the third attempt was for me to be strategic. I was supposed to go to the doctors, go to a psychologist, get the psychotic medicine for my ailment, and take all the psychotic medicine for my ailment. And that was a for sure death if I do those instructions. If I follow those instructions, it was a for sure death. And uh, I did it. I started going, I went, I scheduled an appointment. This is my very first appointment for the psychologist. I went to her, it was a lady. I went to her and I started uh, venting, letting her know what was going on. I'm going crazy, my head is crazy, I'm going crazy. I started wailing, life is this, life is that. I was uh, tragically uh, raped, just the whole nine. And she's just a good, she was just listening to me. She didn't interrupt me. She didn't say anything, she just listened to me. And at the end of my rant, at the end of me ranting, this, uh, psychiatrist says she says I understand that you had a rough life but what's next for you and when she said that to me I was so shocked because I thought she was going to really just whip out the the prescription paper and just write me a prescription I was you know and just I was going to be done but she didn't she gave me something that was so beneficial she gave me her ear and it was just so beneficial. She said, yes, you had a rough life and I'm sorry, but what's next for you? If me and you partner up together, we can create a what's next for your life. Do you wanna do that? And I'm just like, of course I wanna do that. You are the very first person that even asked me that. Everybody else is saying, I." who cares i don't care it doesn't matter kill yourself get out the way no one's asking me or extending me any help or support or even options no one gave me options but this psychiatrist gave me options and that was so mind-blowing to the point where i had to i had to take them i had to take those options and taking those options led me here today to do my YouTube channel, to do my uh, other platforms for you to be, to do my books, to do my uh, owner of a business. That small door open, that small access led me to a new life because you don't have to take your life. You can create a new life. And that was so big to me. And I was so glad. I was so glad. I'm so appreciative. And I was so grateful. Because now, I'm not going to keep that to myself. I'm going to share that. I'm going to share that to people who need the same kind of help that she gave me. And it's very big. That's very big deal. So I was... Uh, one, when I think about mental illness as a system, I have to, you have to understand for you, you might see it, you know, it might be a, uh, it might be a girl, it might be a thing, it might be a thing to you, or it might be a, a person to you or something, but never forget the steps. The steps of it will never change. It will always have a pathology. It will always have an assignment. It will 
always have an end game and the end game will always be destroying you and or others. It would never ever stray from destruction. It is a destructive being. It's a destructive thing. And I'm glad that my self-assessment of my life led me to that response because now I can detect when I can see when things are headed that way where I can head it off at the past and say, okay, it's time for me to start doing some positive practices here. It's time for me to do the kind of wake up and snap out of it thing. So yeah, so that's why I did that. So it was an, uh, it was a, it was a big deal. So I just wanted to share that. Thank you so much for that question. That question just led me back. It made me rewind my life a little bit. But thank you so much because I'm here because of it. And I want you to stay here because of it. There's future. We can create a what's next. Until next time, stay healthy.